to kill a DJ, me do him partial Jama nigga be prudential, now when me come guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number four of my FIFA 14 Next Gen Arsenal Career Mode series. If you are looking for cheap, fast and reliable FIFA Ultimate Team coins, make sure you check out FIFAcoinsBuy.com. The link will be in the description. Pick up some coins uh, to open your packs with because I know that the forwards, a lot of packs are going to be open and you'll definitely want to save as much money as possible. Uh, but we're going to start off the episode with a Capital One Cup fixture against Newport County, a side that we should be beating very, very comfortably. Uh, and we get off to a perfect start in the 33rd minute as Ursul plays it across goal there to Luke De Jong, and De Jong pits up a uh, goal there. One of his first goals in Arsenal colours, and it was a very, very sweaty goal. Uh, but in the 37th minute, it's going to be Oxley chamberlain passing it to Luke De Jong yet again. He's going to dink it over the top there to Alex Oxley chamberlain and the Ox with a perfect finish to extend our lead to two goals in the 38th minute, keep calm, follow Oxlade Chamberlain, uh, excellent, excellent stuff there, um, and looking on the replay, that is just a sexy goal on the half volley, and a sexy replay nonetheless, uh, but then Ramsey's going to take a shot, a good save there from the keeper, and it goes out for a corner in the 41st minute, uh, very, very lucky there, the keeper, that we didn't score, uh, but Ramsey's going to swing it into Ozil, Ozil's going to get the ball on the rebound, he's going to pass it out to Kieran Gibbs here, Gibbs is going to have a lot of space, right in the field, unleash a shot off the left foot, and that is in the back of the net, an excellent goal there from Kieran Gibbs, a long shot from about 25 yards out, to increase our advantage over Newport County, to three goals to nil, excellent stuff there from Kieran Gibbs, absolute beast, what a rocket of a shot there, off the left foot, into the back of the net, that is just so good, and these replays are even better, uh, absolutely crazy stuff, so far that is our goal of the season, very, very happy with that, Kieran Gibbs, you absolute tank, definitely going to be a left back for the future, uh, and he's going to not give up his starting role to Monreal with more strikes like that, uh, very, very happy there, and Kieran Gibbs, visibly very, very happy in his uh, performances, awesome stuff there, Kieran Gibbs picking his first goal up of the season. Uh, but it's going to be Alex oxlade Chamberlain now on the board in the 58th minute, dinking it over the top yet again to Aaron Ramsey. Ramsey's going to have a dig off the left, and he gets it past the Newport County keeper to increase our advantage to four goals to nil. Uh, and the reason why I scored so many long shot goals against uh, crappy teams is because, well, I attempt a lot because uh, in FIFA 12 I was playing ultimate team against the guy, and he had a heaps good side, but I had a bronze side. Oh, no, actually, I had a silver BPL side, and um, he beat me like 7-0, and I wasn't even playing that well, uh, that bad, excuse me, he just kept scoring heaps of amazing goals, and I said, what's the secret, how come you win so many games, and he said, um, I, sc I win so many games because when I score, when I play up against bronze and silver goalkeepers, I just go for long shots because they can't save them for shit, I've taken that advice through me for the past two FIFAs, and it's working in this matchup, as you can see. Uh, but John Kennedy, he's going to get ahead of to it. Off the post it goes, well, off the crossbar. And then Mikel Arteta with the rebound. He goes out to Kieran Gibbs again. Can he replicate his goal from before? He cuts back in. He takes a shot off the right, and he hits it off the crossbar. Oh, my God. That was almost two 20-plus yard screamers in one game. Excellent stuff there from Kieran Gibbs. Unlucky not to get it into the back of the net. When that hit off the crossbar, I almost freaking came in my pants, and I probably said, that too loud, but uh, we finished the matchup. Uh, we defeat Newport County four goals to nil in a Capital One Cup fixture. Uh, so we're going to move on to the next round of the Capital One Cup. Uh, very, very nice stuff there from the lads. Uh, we're going to hire a youth scout now, Ruben Ball, uh, no, sorry, Richard Banks, 3.995 million pounds. Hopefully we can bring in some young talent to the side, uh, but we'll see how that goes after this matchup in the Premier League against Sunderland at the Stadium of Light. Sunderland aside, who currently in real life aren't doing their greatest star, uh, but they are a pretty decent side on FIFA with the likes of Jose Altidore, who is an absolute tank. And I think East Point Arena, Arena is one of the best generic stadiums in the game. It looks really sick. Uh, but that is the side there for Sunderland. You may have noticed they had Naldo and Mike on. That is crazy. Uh, and that is the side we are going with, playing the 4-2-3-1 formation. Uh, but it's going to be Chesney on the ball right now. He's going to pass it out to Monreal. Uh, it's intercepted there. And Stephen Fletcher gets it off the post. It's cleared out there. A header. And then Larson gets the ball in the rebound. We just couldn't clear it, guys. We should have pressed X, but instead we pressed A. That was our main downfall in the goal. 
Uh, but luckily, we have time. It's only the 14th minute, so hopefully we can get a goal, uh, a few goals back and win the lead. We certainly have time on our side. Uh, it's going to be Gardner on the ball here. He's going to play it through to Stephen Fletcher. And the Scott is going to get pulled down inside the box from Flamini. And the Frenchman is yellow carded. Uh, I don't know how that was a penalty. I can see, well, actually, I can see why it was a penalty, but I was not controlling him to pull him down, as you can see on the replay. He just tugs him, and then he just pulls him down. I was not trying to make that happen. Uh, but we've got to face it now. We've got to try and save this penalty here from Fletcher. 101 with Chesney. Look at that crowd in the background. That is heaps good quality crowd. Uh, but Chesney's going to step up to the spot. He's going to get left. Chesney goes right, but unfortunately he gets it just over the top there of Chesney. And that made me very, very furious. How can we in even have a chance of saving the goal if we go the right way? We do everything right, except he somehow manages to get it over the keeper. That just pisses me off, guys. We shouldn't be down 2-0. We should be down 1-0. That first goal was my mistake. Uh, but we've got to try our best now to get a goal back. And we do that successfully. As in the 35th minute, because all the plays are over the top there to Alex Oxley chamberlain He hits it on the volley straight past the keeper there, Westwood, for Sunderland to give us a 2-1 deficit. But we get a goal back. Excellent, excellent finish there from Alex Oxley chamberlain As you look on the replay, that was a great strike. And a good ball as well over the top uh, to get the ball. And Bentner is happy. Lord Bentner is happy. And that is a good... Samba celebration there from Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Definitely having a standout game. Uh, a standout, standout episode, I should say. Uh, but Lord Bentner is on the ball. He plays it through to Oxlade Chamberlain. Oxlade Chamberlain plays it over the top to Lord Bentner. Bentner steps over the defender's leg. A smash it straight past Westwood to give us a two or scoreline just after half time. Excellent, excellent stuff there from Lord Bentner. Just jumping over the outstretched leg of the defender. That is his world class. Definitely should have won the Ballon d'Or as he steps over Naldo's legs. That is just awesome stuff there. Great composure there from Nicholas Bentner. Uh, but right now it's going to be Stephen Fletcher yet again on the ball. He always causes me problems, but luckily Chesney can defuse the situation with a good save. Uh, it's going to be Gardner on the ball. Getting tackled there from Jackie Wilshire. Wilshire's going to play it through to John Gavetti. John Gavetti hits straight at Westwood and it's cleared. And unfortunately, we drop points away from home against Sunderland. A two-all draw, but a pretty decent comeback mounted from, mounted from the lads. Uh, Podolski did pick up a bruised elbow in that last matchup, though. He's going to be out for eight days. Not a great loss. Uh, we don't have many games coming up. I think we have the international fixture, international break, excuse me, after this next match. Uh, but we're going to have a press conference now for this matchup, which is going to be against Real Madrid in the Champions League. Uh, we're going to go into a player for Madrid. We're going to go and praise Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, congratulating on him on his efforts for winning the Ballon d'Or a few days ago. Uh, but yes, this is our biggest game of the episode, guys, at the Santiago Bernabeu, the first Champions uh, Cup matchup against Real Madrid. And if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you hit the like button. Hopefully we can hit 30 likes. That would be awesome. Uh, but look at those excellent next-gen graphics there from EA. That is a sick illusion in the crowd. Uh, this is our group, Real Madrid, PSG, Arsenal, and Galatasaray. We are definitely involved in the group of death. Not going to be easy at all. That is the Madrid side. Look at that. That is so crazy. We're going to face Ronaldo, Bale, all those amazing players. It's not going to be easy, but we are put out our best side on paper on the field. Excellent side there. Hopefully we can at least get a draw. I'm not expecting a win because it's Real Madrid, uh, but I just hope we don't lose. I hope we can pick up one point because um, we just really need to keep... We'll need, we need to not drop points in this group too if we have any chance of getting through to the round of 16. Uh, and Dion gets us off to the perfect start, finessing it around Casillas. Excellent stuff there. A bit of an upset so far. Nobody would have expected De Jong to get a goal there for us. Uh, but we are up 1-0 away from home at Santiago Bernabeu in Spain. And that was an absolute class ball there uh, to De Jong from Ertzel. And a class finish just finessing it calmly around uh, Casillas. Excellent stuff there. Excellent stuff. Uh, excellent start for the lads as well. And hopefully we can keep on to the lead uh, through the rest of the game. But that doesn't last very long as Ronaldo absolutely destroys us. Passing it to Modric. Now to Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale with the skills to pay the bills. Pass our defenders. He has fine space and absolutely pings it past Chesney. Nothing we could do about that. He just had the footwork to get past our defenders. I was so confused. And that was just a class finish. Not much Chesney could have done about that. You just can't stop world-class players like Gareth Bale scoring goals like that. All you can do is try. Uh, but Bale gets tackled there. It's somehow a red card to Siglio. What the actual fuck? How is that a red ball? Red card, excuse me. I got all of the ball, as you will see on the replay. 
Uh, that's my first red card for the series. I barely get red cards on FIFA, and understandably, Castiglio is pissed off. Just look at this. In slow motion, he gets the bloody ball first. That is a good tackle, not a bloody foul, not a bloody red card. I was fuming. Now we have to try competing away from home against Bayern, um, sorry, not Bayern Munich, Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu with 10 men. This is going to be really, really difficult. Ronaldo just gets it over the crossbar, but guys, somehow we did it. We managed to hold on through the 90 minutes, two draw, one all with Real Madrid in the Champions Cup matchup with 10 men. That is absolutely crazy stuff. I am really proud of the guys, uh, and that is a perfect way to end the episode. So guys, it has been Jared HD here with episode number four of season number one of my Arsenal Next Gen Career Mode series. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you drop a like. Uh, as I said before, if we can hit 30 likes, that would be awesome. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more FIFA 14 Career Mode and Ultimate Team content. And most importantly, guys, have an awesome day. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.